Kim Stapleton, how are you? Good. Thanks, Benny. I, uh, I'm really glad that uh, you're able to make time to do this because um, this is something that I've been really excited to do um, because I want to focus this one on building your network and networking and building quality relationships, especially right now in COVID when, um, you know, when things are, we're all out of our norm. Uh, but I feel like I've probably talked to just as many, if not more people right now during COVID via Zoom and phone um, than I did before. Um, and then the reason why I wanted to have you on here is because you and I met through Dan Kardatsky at the FEI awards dinner, what, November, December. And even though our, our lives are completely different uh, in the sense that, you know, you're in the city or I'm in the city, you're in the burbs, you and I have stayed in touch and you've been a great person to have a relationship with. And uh, uh, to give you, to give props where props is due, I think you do a phenomenal job of building your network, treating your network, the, the people right, um, and having real genuine relationships. So um, why don't you, I, first of all, just introduce yourself if you can to anyone that's watching. Sure. So Kim Stapleton, and this is my 20th year doing business development for professional service firms in Chicago. Recently joined Ice Miller, which uh, a law firm in the city and also in the suburbs and other offices. But we um, I had worked together for the last five years when I had my own consulting firm. So I'm excited to be a permanent employee now and on board with these partners that I've been working with and um, helping introduce legal services, the areas that we provide assistance to, to my network. Okay. Well, it's a perfect time to start a job, week one of COVID. So, <laughs> but, um, um, so right now with where we're at, and you started this new job, even though you consulted for them before, like, what are you doing to keep up with your network? What are you doing to grow your network? Um, and what are you doing to just build stronger relationships within the people you know, and the people, new people? Yeah. Kind messaging, right? It's going out. How could I help your business? Although I'm making one assumption about the industry that you're in, how things might be faring for the business, there might be one product that my contact has that I really wasn't aware of and that is going really well. Or they are hurting in an area that I didn't assume. So really just genuinely asking, where could I help? Is there anything that I could do to assist? Be it legal or not, right? Anyone in my network that I could make an introduction to, to help as people are offering new products for their first time. They had trying to pivot, right, with COVID and um, giving thoughts around that if they're launching new products and so, kind messaging. I'm still doing videos, which is great. You can have the opportunity to jump on something that typically you wouldn't have to drive or um, take the time to commute to an event, spend an hour and a half there, and you can be in and out in one hour now on these videos. So there's that benefit. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. Um, there's zero time in traffic right now. So if anything, people have a little bit more time. Um, so the, the how can I help part, um, is that more for people that are within, like that you already know, or is it people that you're looking to get to know? It is my contacts at businesses at, as a corporation, but also I'm still continuing to be introduced to people. And some of those are in transition right now. Maybe they were in transition before this hit. And we're talking about different industries and just sharing information is just as helpful um, as they're wheels are spinning, thinking about what um, areas they might pivot in, in their search even. Yeah. And, um, you know, you, we both stayed in touch almost every day since COVID started, uh, whether it's doing group Zoom calls or connecting, like me connecting you with other people in my network and vice versa. So I think, you know, it's been, um, COVID has, I've never felt loneliness in COVID or alone or isolated because of, um, you know, because of people like you, where like, we can always bounce ideas off of each other. We can always make connections with each other. Um, I don't think people really get that. Um, I, don't, I think people feel uncomfortable doing that almost, you know? So, and I think, you know, you and I, we do that, but we both have different approaches to it as well as like anybody else. So right now, if you're going to, I'll let you, I'll let you say how you do it. But like, if you're going to introduce someone to me, like, how do you do that? Yeah, I if you're going to introduce a CFO to me or a controller or something like that. How would you do that? What's your thought process? And kind of walk me through. From yeah. Start so I take copious notes when I'm doing a virtual meeting with someone or an in-person meeting or a call because I'm, it takes a little while for everything to soak in about that individual. But I'm thinking about their personal life, their professional life, and even connecting the dots where people live, right? All these little factors that why would this person be the right person for Benny? 
but of course I always want to introduce them to the right people. So um, once I've come up with a few ideas of the right person to introduce them to, and a lot of times it is you because you're so generous with your network and you um, do a great job of also remembering all those details about the individuals that all that factors into being the right person to introduce them to. Someone who I know is a giver and not a taker. And then I'll do the email introduction. I try to make life as simple as possible. A, I first make sure that the other person wants to receive the introduction, both ends, so that it gets replied to. And then B, I'm gonna hyperlink their LinkedIn so that they don't even have to go out and look the person up. And it also saves me having to type too much about, well, this is where they currently are, where they previously were, and their alma mater, and all that information is out there. And then LinkedIn shows you who you know in common, too. Yeah, I, um, I was hoping you would say that because that's one of the things that I, I really like about your emails, where I get the hyperlink is in there. Um, saves you a little typing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Because I remember when I first started with two and a half years ago at Baker Tilly, and I wanted to connect someone, and I would write these paragraphs and I hate typing emails. Um, whereas now I just kind of keep it real simple because people know what they're expecting, you know, um, and then let the two people take it from there. So, and then what about people that have, that are hesitant or that are reluctant because, and they don't want to, they feel like they're bothering people if they're right. calling them right now. Right. What's your take on that? Yeah. Just, it, it's not about, you. It's about them and what you can do for them. So then I don't ever feel like a nuisance. Like when people say to me, you're in sales. I'm like, yeah, but have you ever seen me begging and pleading on my knees? No, never. It's always been like, hey, what can I do to help you? Can I bring you to this event? Can I introduce you to people? So I feel fulfilled that way. And it's actually a very enjoyable process. It's not trying to be a sleazy cheese ball. <laughs> so I don't think you're a, I don't think you're a sleazy, I think you're very far from that. So, uh, the opposite of that. So cool. I, um, you know, there's, we're going to talk about a couple more things for sure, but I'll wait till the next one because I don't like making these long videos. Um, I love what you had to say. So, um, yeah, maybe in the next couple of days we, we can get together and uh, we can go over some other questions that I have for you. Thank you so much for thinking of me and thank you for putting these out there because everyone's been enjoying them and you do a lot of work and thought of the topic. So it's going great, Benny. I really appreciate you saying that. And uh, yeah, we'll talk again in the next couple of days for sure.